This is the GAC Weekly presented by the Great American Conference. I'm Joey McWilliams. It's a special edition of the GAC Weekly now as we have this time and taking this time now to report the passing of one of our coaches here in the conference, Coach Alvy Early from Arkansas Monticello, longtime softball coach, has passed this morning. We received word about that earlier today. And we have now on the phone with us here on the GAC Weekly the commissioner of the Great American Conference, Will Pruitt, uh, Will, thank you very much for taking some time with us today. Really quickly, as we talk about Coach Alvey, you got the word this morning. Talk about your initial thoughts. Yeah, Joey, it's you know, unexpected, or, or not unexpected, but still very sad. You know, it's it's hard to find someone that you know, has left so much of a legacy, you know, so many years working with young people, the winningest all-time coach in the history of Arkansas College Athletics, and I don't know that we'll ever see another coach that generated so much success in two different sports. You know, the great women's basketball teams that he coached at UAM, followed by an incredible run after starting the softball program at UAM. You know, just something you don't see in, in this day of coaching spe specialization, just like player specialization and – you know, certainly a big loss for our conference. Um, you know, certainly prayers and sympathy for for the family. Um, you know, I know all three of his sons who are tremendous coaches in their own right. Preston coaches girls basketball up at Rogers High. Um, Brian Early, who's been at a number of places coaching football. Um, currently the defend, defensive line coach up at Arkansas State, and work fairly closely closely with Ken Early. His youngest son, who's the um, head coach at Bentonville High School, you know, tremendous coaching family and you know, big, a big void for all of us. On the phone now with Commissioner Will Pruitt here of the GAC. Uh, Will, I know that as you came in as commissioner, one of the things that I had seen that, that you put out that he was one of the first people that you got to work with. And, of course, in the inaugural year of the Great American Conference back in 2011-2012, uh, Coach Early's softball team won the regular season championship and the tournament championship as well, and he was named the GAC Coach of the Year. Uh, what's it like then to come in having someone like that that you can work with right off the bat to get a newly formed conference underway? You know, Alvy's one of the first people I met. And I believe the second or third campus visit that I made was over to UAM and you still remember like it was yesterday sitting in, in his office over at uh, over in the in the gym and you know just talking about uh, you know different programs in the league and you know he was so instrumental as we put together policies and um, you know trying to determine tournament formats and everything that goes into starting starting a conference from scratch obviously you know, with um, with his track record he was Definitely one of the most respected voices in that room. And, you know, when you win a lot of games, oftentimes you know, those folks may not be the most popular person in the room. But you know, I think over the seven years of the GAC, I think all of our softball coaches, you know, definitely a soft spot in their, in their heart for Alvy. And you know, I'm, I'm going to just miss some, you know, I'll get phone calls and, you know, all the time during the season just – Know, what's going on here, what's going on there. Um, you know, both of us commiserate as long-suffering Cincinnati Reds fans. <laughs> you know, it's certainly not going to be the same next spring. Um, you know, one of the things I, I've always gave Alvy a hard time, you know, the weather in Arkansas and Oklahoma, um, you know, it's hard to know what it's going to do in 15 minutes. But you know, Alvy was always the guy, hey, it's going to rain in – I think it's going to rain when we've got that series in, in, in two weeks. What do we need to do about <laughs> trying to move those games? It's like, Alvy, let's, um, let's worry about that sometime next week. <laughs> but, you know, Joy, I'm going to sure miss getting those phone calls next year. I understand. On the phone now with Commissioner Will Pruitt from the Great American Conference. And, Will, I had the opportunity not only to get to broadcast some of the games in, in which the Cotton Blossoms played, but also – the GAC previews as we would count down to first pitch in, in baseball and softball and visiting with Coach Early was always a pleasure. It really was. It was enjoyable to visit with him and just to be on the phone with someone that was as knowledgeable 
as he is and was, uh, was just, I'm, it was almost daunting sometimes. But what kind of question do you ask someone who has won as much as he has and as much as, as he did? 1,167 wins in softball and in basketball on the collegiate level more than any other coach in Arkansas college history and a national runner-up finish in, in basketball. You know, Will, we think about softball because, at least I do, I think about softball because he's been a softball coach for the length of time in which I had an opportunity to know him. But to come that close to winning a national championship in basketball as well, you talked about specialization. Uh, what does it mean then for a coach to uh, be able to win on that level in two different sports? And Joey, the some of those teams that Alvy had in national contention, that was when the NAI was really at, at at its peak as as a small college athletic organization and you know, just the great teams in this part of the world that you know, would eventually fall under the GAC umbrella that you know, that he battled you know, Joe Foley and the great teams he had at Arkansas Tech. You know, that's when Coach Loftus – you know, really had it going on at Southwestern, Southern Nazarene with the, with a series of great teams. So, you know, to be in national contention from this part of the world in, in those days to get through the district tournament, to, excuse me, to get through the area tournament, you know, that, that was some great basketball, and, you know, he certainly had great teams. With uh, Commissioner Will Pruitt right now, as, as we wrap up this time, Coach Alvy Early from Arkansas Monticello. We got word earlier today that he has passed at the age of 77. Uh, Will, obviously, someone like that does leave a gap, and you were you were talking about the fact that you're going to miss the opportunities to visit with him on the phone and otherwise. Uh, I would imagine there's just really no way to fill a gap like that. You just hope that uh, people can learn and come in and, and to follow in the footsteps of a great man. Yeah, absolutely. We've got you know, this gives me a chance to to brag about how far softballs came in this league over over the short history of the GAC. You know, just the progress that we see with so many programs that that have that have kept raising their competitive levels to where I think we have one of the best softball conferences in NCAA Division Two. And you know, Coach Early was the person you know, along with some of the great early, you know, in the conference's history teams that Coach Fabian had at Southeastern, you know, that really gave the target that, you know, you, that you've seen Jason Anderson come in and try to shoot for Southern Arkansas or Beth Jackson at Henderson State, you know, Destiny Anderson, East Central with some, with some great teams. And, you know, certainly we're going to miss – you know, sitting in those coaches' meetings or on conference calls. You know, whenever whenever Alvy had something to say, you know, obviously, you no know, people really gave those thoughts a lot of credence, and you know, it's going to it's going to be a lot different next year. Not not having him around, but you know, he he's really been awfully important. You know, as we've seen our seen our league grow in in the sport of softball, to where you know really. I think you can make a great argument that that might be the GAC's strongest point, and you know, he certainly helped build that foundation. Will Pruitt, the commissioner of the Great American Conference, thank you, Will, for taking the time to visit today. A uh, sad day in the GAC as uh, one of the, the legends within the conference has passed, Coach Alvy Early from Arkansas Monticello, and our prayers go out for his wife, Nancy, and sons, as you mentioned, Preston and Brian and Kent and their families as well during this time. We're appreciative for uh, Coach Early's life and, and all that he has given, and we're appreciative also to have gotten to spend some time with him. Again, for Will Pruitt, I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for watching the GAC Weekly as uh, we just uh, remember the life of Coach Alvy Early.